What's up everybody, it's Max from Zima Automotive. We're just back here with a what is that? Today, we are talking about the infamous ABS system in a vehicle. I'm sure you've heard that acronym somewhere, but it actually stands for something. That's your anti-lock brake system. Um, and what that means is there is a computer that operates the brake system for you when it comes to slippage. And what this does is uh, when you're going to stop, if you hit the brakes and you got say icy or wet roads and those tires lock up, which means they stop moving and you start skidding, you lose control and it actually affects your braking distance. So it actually takes longer to brake. So the old method, um, the old school method before the computer systems and everything came across was to pump your brakes. Uh, you may have heard somebody mention that as they taught you how to drive. If you start slipping, you wanna pump your brakes. That keeps the wheels from locking up. That gives you more control of the vehicle. So a human can pump that only so many times per second, um, maybe even once, maybe twice if you're really fast and really good. Um, but now along comes a computer system with its own pump, its own modulator valves that can actually operate that brake pedal for you at thousands of times a second. Uh, so lightning fast compared to what a human can do. And again, what that does is it keeps those wheels from locking up and sliding across the snow or the ice or hydroplaning on the water and it actually will sit there and it pulses that pedal and you'll feel it in the pedal. I'm sure you've all felt it where you go to hit the brakes and it feels like the pedal's almost kicking back at you. Um, it almost feels like it's thumping. Um, and that is the hydraulic brake system pumping itself so that the wheels don't lock up and that you could stop faster and prevents any accident that may occur from that. So as we look at that system, it's made up of a few different parts. It does make the brake system more complex, but at the same time, it saves lives um, and that's, that's amazing. So right here, we have your ABS module and computer. Um, on this particular vehicle, the computer is this back section here. This, uh, this black plastic part is actually the computer. And inside here is the modulator valves and this right here is the motor. It takes fluid from your master cylinder here into this motor and it will actually pump it back through those lines. And inside here is the valves that will modulate and cause that pulsation in the brake pedal to stop you at a safe distance. When we look at that system, you have your normal brake system, which is like a master cylinder, uh, which is where all the fluid and the hydraulic action starts. And then you got your lines, that goes to your brake calipers and whatnot. So the, the hydraulic components um, that are electric are after the master cylinder. And inside there is an electronic motor, and there's also a computer that controls that as well. And so that works with the brake pedal, and it also works with what we call ABS sensors, which are, um, there's a couple different styles. There's, there's some that have one on each wheel of the vehicle. There's some that have just the front, or it could have just the rear. Really pretty much anything, I would say after 2015-ish, you're probably looking at all wheel ABS system. It's just super common. Uh, that way the computer monitors all four wheels and then when it sees one wheel or two wheels going at different speed than the others, it assumes that the car is slipping or sliding. And so therefore it will take the hydraulic system and it'll pump those brakes, actuate the ABS system so that you can control the vehicle and come to a safe and complete stop. So again, very important that that's checked thoroughly and often. And a good time to do that is during just a normal brake inspection. Uh, here at Zima, we do check that. We check um, for any codes. We actually will go in and monitor the, the voltages and the different data PIDs inside that module to make sure that they're operating the way they should be. We check for any leaks, any corrosion, um, anything that could affect that system as well. Because again, better to catch it before it goes bad than when it fails completely. And you need that anti-lock brake system to stop and prevent an accident. And you can't because it's broken. So um, we do want to make sure that those are checked regularly and they're in good working condition. Um, like I said, it does add a little complexity to the, the brake system, but at the same time, the, the safety features far outweigh that. And again, we want to catch these issues before they go bad because that will help uh, prevent your pocketbook from hurting so bad. And the other thing that really helps that is that brake fluid flush. Um, and it may sound like, oh, it's just another flush, but that really, when we do a brake fluid flush, it takes all that debris out of the system. It flushes out the ABS system where you got valves, like I said, that have to pump it thousand times a second. And any little piece of dirt in there could slow that down, could cause a malfunction in that system. So it's important to flush that fluid out at least every two years and make sure that you have good fluid in there and that helps extend the life of your brake components, especially those um, internal electrical components as well. So I hope that really helped kind of explain in a nutshell what the ABS system does, what it stands for and how it helps you. 
So thanks for tuning in. And again, if you like this video, uh, make sure you like and subscribe to this channel and we'll keep you fed. Hey everybody, thanks for watching that video. Don't forget to click and subscribe to this channel to get more information or click over here and watch our next video.